following test demonstrates the results of the types of damages that will occur in a standard welding machine's primary power cord if it is subject to an overcurrent event due to stray welding currents. The cord under test is an AWG gauge number 10 with four conductors and a type SOOW insulation. This cord is approximately 900 millimeters in length. The conductors in this cord have a normal ampacity of 35 amps, but we will be subjecting it to 325 amps of welding current through the grounding conductor. We are using an arc welding machine connected to a water-cooled load bank to produce the current. The first signs of smoke are now visible from the overheated insulation. As you have seen, we have experienced a catastrophic failure of the cord after approximately one and a half minutes of operation. Using a multimeter, we can see that there has been internal electrical contact between the grounding wire and one of the hot face conductors. This indicates that not only the grounding conductor has failed, but that the other conductors also suffered insulation failure and that the cord has shorted internally. Here you can see the sort of insulation melting and damages that can occur internally in a cord from the overcurrent test. Mm -hmm.